Previously, the scientists, they thought that the light of the moon was its own light. But Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, Blessed is he, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has made the constellations in the sky and placed therein sun, that is a lamp, having its own light, and moon, having borrowed light. The Arabic word used for the sun in the Quran, it is shams. And its light is always described as siraj, wahaj, or diya, which means a torch having a light of its own, or a blazing lamp, or a shining glory. Always the light of the sun is described as wahaj, siraj, or diya, meaning a light of its own. The Arabic word for moon is kamar, and its light is described as munir or nur, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. There is not a single place in the Quran where the light of the moon is described as its own light. And the Arabic word for star is najam, and its light is described as saqib, meaning the light, by the time it reaches the earth, it loses its brightness, like a piercing brightness. The bright light, by the time it reaches, it consumes itself. And this message, that the sun has its own light, describing as Wahaj, Siraj, or Diya, and the moon having borrowed light, that is Munir, or reflection of Nainur, is mentioned in several places in the Quran, including Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 5, as well as Surah Nuh, chapter number 71, verse number 15 and 16. And the Quran says in Surah Tariq, chapter number 86, verse number 3, that what Najm was Saqib, Describing the star, its light as saqib, that means it pierces, it's of piercing darkness.